everyone, my name's I Blast Off, and welcome back to the Alan Wake walkthrough, episode four, part. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 episode five, part four. I can't be getting my episodes and my parts mixed up. So yeah, after you read that um, sign, you want to go into the back of this yellow truck and pick up this manuscript. Right next to the cans of baked beans was a locked case filled with flare guns, and yet here was a conveniently placed barrel of crowbars. Barry's smile widened as he realized that this was the classic movie scene where the hero had to gear up and arm himself to the teeth. Barry threw himself into the role. That was yeah, I'm gonna arm myself to the teeth with my flashbangs and my flares and my um illuminated socks. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you pick up everything from this section because this is the game telling us that we need to prepare for an ambush. Or so to speak. But yeah, go and check out Sarah and see what she's up to to trigger the next part. I'm going to shine my massive light right on her. Look, I could cover her whole body. I'm going to give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. Uh oh. See, so yeah, in this section, we need to fight off. Another horde of Taken. Kind of looks like a carnival. I know they're getting ready for Deer Fest and whatnot, but. I think I've heard someone say it once before, but it kind of looks like a level out of Left 4 Dead 2. Or, is it Left 4 Dead 2? Or Left 4 Dead 1? I don't know. So, yeah, cool. A little Sand and Fury there. I'm sure most of you already got that by now. I don't know why it took me so long. Oh, cheers. I love the tips they give you. Yeah, these guys are pretty tricky. They're kind of fast and... Well, really fast. But luckily we have a lantern that is as big as the sun. Which helps. And yeah, if you're still trying to get that the idyllic small town achievement, you might as well do some easy. There's no point doing this on hard. Well, you can do it on the hardest. It's really not that difficult. You get enough ammo and flares and whatnot to do it. But it doesn't end until you get to the chopper. Get to the chopper! Shit him. Does anyone else not get bored with the sound of a shotgun? Even though it's a hunting rifle. <laughs> Epic fail! Oh well, I've done worse things now. Cool, so I think these guys are pretty much all dead. We can now head into this ghastly church. Not before I replenish my ammo. This is a good episode because you get so much stuff like flashbangs, flare guns, everything is always full up. We keep them lit all night long on the night before deer fest. Why? Well, it's tradition. It's bloody good tradition, especially in these surroundings. You think more people would use light? And there's a manuscript page on top of this church bit. For it to be free, the dark presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript. But it could pursue the writer indirectly, put others on the task, and stop those who would help him. It took over everything in its path, made them its puppets. And sent them after Alan Wake. Hmm. Puppets, eh? Cool. So as we head down, We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. The basement. Yeah, there's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. Ha ha ha! Good one, Alan. Well, oh, that's a fake laugh. You didn't know. So yeah, we're heading into the crypt. It was an awesome idea, as Alan suggests. Stupidly dark, I must add. And there's a coffee thermos all the way in the far left corner, which I kind of fool myself. 
Let me take out these guys first. Stay back! Yowza. I was watching someone do like a, a walkthrough on normal. And it's just so easy, my god. This isn't exactly hard, but just one shot for them big guys. Oh, it saves so much time. So yeah, don't go up them stairs yet. Head all the way back. It's literally in the far left corner. As soon as you walk in. I couldn't find it for shit. But yeah, it's just... Um, <laughs> somewhere around here. <laughs> there we go. Buy these boxes. Someone should put some bloody candles down here. No. Guess that one saw the light, huh? <laughs> you didn't like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. <laughs> Like garlic against vampires? Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. Ah, uh, Barry just always amazes me. He's such a fashionista with his Christmas lights and other such jamborees. See so yeah, cool head up these stairs. We can come to a checkpoint in a minute. The Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just aim at one of those things and they die. It's like blinking eye of Morpheus. <laughs> I wish I could hear him. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. Cool, so there's a manuscript Last page one. on this lookout. And Alan Wake wants a headlamp, apparently. Alice had screamed until she had no voice left to scream. Around her, the darkness was alive. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. She was a prisoner, trapped in the dark place. The terror would have burned her mind out, but one thing made her hang on. She could sense Alan in the dark. She could hear him. She could see the words he was writing as flickering shadows. He sensed her too. He was trying to work his way to her. Uh, such romance. Right, so let's go find this helipad. But where the hell is it? Oh, hop stop. Never sneak up on a man while he's taking flashbangs. Thought that was a rules. I just want to see what Barry can do. One down. Two down. Lucky number three. Oh, look at that evasion. so cool just walking around with more people than just Alan Wake. Ah, I feel protected. Not even in a 
condom wearing sense. So much more than that. Cool, so here is the helicopter scene, which is pretty freaking epic. So I saved it for the next part. But just around here to the right, on a bench, you'll find a coffee thermos. And I'll see you in part five. Have a good day.